Okay, another video now. Um, this one is going to be all about um, changing key. Um, so I'm, ju I'm just going to do it on a single track, um, which this is probably the scenario you most commonly use it in. Uh, but if you want to change the key of a backing track, it works exactly the same way. You just do each piece individually. What we're going to do with this one. Um, yeah, but you don't do that so commonly because if you're buying off multitracks.com, um, you can buy the song in different keys if you're wanting it in a different key anyway. Um, but uh, it leaves the options open to change it later if you need to using Logic. Uh, so most commonly what happens is, um, say we have a song um, like this one here that uh, is in a key of C sharp, uh, but we play it in C. Um, so what we want is um, we want to just change this for people to practice to because um, like if you're a guitarist or a bass player then um, that's easy enough to practice in a different key and then just transpose all your patterns and stuff um, up or down whatever uh, not so easy if you're a keyboardist so it starts getting a bit more complicated with transposing so when you see how easy this is to do you know why not just you know remake a track and give it to them so they can practice with it in the right key uh, and then there's no excuses eh so um, real simple I've just brought the track in so that's in that C sharp key I'm gonna come down here to my inserts I'm going to come down to audio units, Apple, and then I want AU pitch. Cool, and that's going to bring this up. So this is going to um, be the insert that changes my pitch. Uh, so pitch here measured in cents. Um, cent being the whole hundred thing, like century, uh, there is a hundred cents in every semitone. Um, so in this case, from C sharp down to C, I want to go down a semitone. So you can um, click and drag that um, left or right, but what you'll find is that it won't quite sit on a hundred for you. Um, so the way to do it is to click on there and just type in negative 100 and that will do that for you okay so now that's dropped down that semitone Cool. Um, so obviously the further off key that you move it, um, it it's going to start sounding weird. So if I, especially that, that's going to be really low. You know, so you, you can only go so far, but generally um, when you're doing a song in a different different key you're only moving a semitone or a tone um, you're not making big jumps anyway so uh, I'll just reset that and then we'll bounce it out um, so obviously if you want to go up a semitone then it's plus 100 if you want to go down a full tone then it's minus 200 plus 200 to go up a full tone um, so yeah um, and then all you do is you're just going to bounce that out. Cool. Um, uh, I'll just chuck it on my desktop because then I remember to throw it out. Um, cool, so MP3, we'll just do that. Cool, that's all good to go. Bounce, and then that will show up on my desktop, um, and then 
I can do whatever with it from there. So nice and simple, eh?